Greetings one and all. Welcome back to my kitchen here today where I'm going to be making something pretty special I think. Some nice um, Chinese braised pig trotters. Now for those of you that haven't eaten pig trotters before they're a really uh, prized part of the um, pig in uh, Chinese cuisine for various reasons, health reasons as well as um, taste reasons and I'll go into those a bit later but what I really like is the philosophy of if you're going to kill an animal you know let's that nose nose to toe sort of philosophy let's utilize every single bit of that animal that we kill for food all right now I've got three of these trotters I've already started processing them um, what I'm doing with mine is I've just they've got this split here and I've got my um, mighty cleaver what I'm doing is I'm just going to split mine down the middle like so in half and easier said than done it's not the easiest of job and if you can get a busher to do it and sometimes when you buy them they're already split unfortunately these weren't so gotta make a bit of noise here guys That's this last little bit. That's this bone on the bottom. That's particularly hard. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a real good whack. Block your ears. And we've done it. Now if you're really good at butchery, you can go on to cut these again. In half but yeah I'm not gonna do that <laughs> all right I'll show you the next stage alrighty so I've split those trotters now I had three of them so I've ended up with six pieces so yeah I've just got them here in a um, well I'm using my wok but I'm using it just as a boiler at the moment just with some plain water now to we sort of go through a little phase now of just um, treating these now don't get me wrong these don't smell or they don't, they're not rank or anything like that but sometimes pig's trotters can have a, a little bit of a funny smell and to deal with that what we're going to do first is just blanch these in boiling water for about five minutes and in that water just to help if there is any aroma we're going to throw in a heap of spring onions into that water that I've just given a little bit of a bash with the knife especially those um, wider bits and also some ginger and same thing I haven't peeled that or anything because we're going to be discarding all this the water everything so and I've bashed it so it's all split and already releasing some of its aromatics and we'll also just add some salt to that and just a short process so I'll boil those for about five minutes and then um, yeah get them out wash them thoroughly and we're right to go alrighty now I've um, yeah thoroughly washed those trotters now um, dried them off as best I could so I've just got a bit of oil back in my wok, I wash my wok out as well obviously now I'm going to get my trotters now there might be a little bit of sputtering and all that but there's still a bit of moisture going on here but we'll see how we go so that oil's not hot yet so <laughs> probably the best way to do it
Alrighty, now just while these are splattering away there, as predicted. I've got here a couple of tablespoons of brown sugar. And I'm just going to... Um, I'll look at home here, pop that in as well. Alrighty, I'm going to take these off the heat now. Now usually I would um, use the same mop and um, slow cook this on top of the stove. Uh, unfortunately, <coughs> it's just bad timing. I've got some maintenance guys coming in and they're going to repair one of the this back element of my stove. So, this is forcing me to do the rest of my dish in my slow cooker, my electric slow cooker. No problems there. As I just stated, I've just transferred my trotters here into my slow cooker, crock pot, and I'll just be adding the rest of the ingredients. Now, I just want to put in about a teaspoon of Chinese five spice powder. A good tablespoon of sliced fresh ginger I've got uh, about three star anise there I've got one brown cardamom that I've just given a bit of a bashity bash and I've got three dry bits of chilli and I'll just break them a little bit uh, they're optional couple of bay leaves, a teaspoon of Cheswan peppercorns. Now in this one I've sort of got a bit of a cheats version here. I've got some fried shallots, about a tablespoon and a half of them, and about half a tablespoon of dried fried garlic. I could have done that myself in the wok but as I said I'm a bit time constrained. I had these here anyway and well, the name of this channel is Easy and Delicious, and that's pretty easy. It's still going to be delicious. That'll give us some yum flavour. Now, some wet ingredients. We've got here about three quarters of a cup of Shizuan cooking wine, Chinese cooking wine. That's going in. About a quarter cup of soy sauce light soy sauce. Now one of my main ingredients here is I've got this red bean sauce, Chinese sauce and I'm gonna put in as you can see it's sort of all yeah, there's bits of beans and everything in it so just get out the equivalent of about three tablespoons I think and get some of those <laughs> beans and that everything in it like so and just get my spoon to help get it out and that's all going to break down as I cook those on smells delicious. Now I'll just top all that up with some water and get some that's about a cup and a half. I want to as this cooks on I sort of want them to be covered but just for now I'll leave them partially covered. We'll see how we go we'll keep an eye on it and I'll adjust the um, water level as necessary. Oh, let's put some salt in as well. Right, 
right, like I say, I'm going to put that on the low setting. So it could be two hours, could be three hours. It's more likely to be around four or five, I think, on that low setting. And that's fine. I'll um, let you know how long it is when we're there. Alrighty, so these have been cooking for a couple of hours. They've still got a while to go yet. They're starting to soften up a bit, but um, yeah, we'll take our time with them. Now, I did mention earlier about um, some of the benefits of eating pig's trotters, so I just wanted to quickly touch on that <laughs> while, I, while I can. Um, yeah, so one of the main benefits, claimed benefits of these, is even though these look really fatty, it's an actual fact they're low in fat and what you can see that looks like fat is collagen and collagen has a really great cosmetic value for our skin it promotes elasticity um, you know, delays the aging process of the skin so another claim for pig's trotters as a central nervous inhibitory neurotransmitter in our brain so there you go and the benefit of that is it can produce a really calming effect on our central nervous system now this is all I'm getting this information on the internet so you know it's true because it's on the internet the same collagen also promotes hair and nail growth and regular consumption of collagen pig's trotters can also effectively prevent nutritional disorders such as gastrointestinal bleeding and other sort of shock from hemorrhaging it can improve the body's microcirculation which can prevent or alleviate coronary heart disease and ischemic encephalopathy so there you go again that's all on the internet and who am I to argue? So for those that have had surgery or if you're recovering from a serious illness and especially for the elderly, it can help restore normal physiological functions of the cells and accelerate metabolism. Wow. All right. Well, I'm just looking forward to how it tastes. Alrighty, so I've just served up here a couple of my um, pig's trotters and yeah, they're looking really, really good. That, my friends, is pure goodness. And sorry about the dog barking. Can't do much about that, but my goodness, <laughs> that just tastes awesome, absolutely awesome. You really, really need to try this, guys. It's just delicious. Mmm, mmm, yum! Huh? All right, thanks for watching, as always. Thanks to those who subscribe to the channel. You guys are absolute legends. And I mean that. If you haven't subscribed yet, can I just ask that you hit that subscribe button? That'd be really, really, really good. Thank you if you do that. Otherwise, um, yeah. Just check out some of the other videos on the back channel. There's going to be more to come, and I will see you all next time. Alrighty guys, look, I just didn't want to finish there on the plate. I just really, really, really wanted to um, reiterate, man, this is a really, really, really delicious dish. 
and um, it mightn't look like it aesthetically but guys please try this they're absolutely delicious and that collagen theory it's not fat it's yes yummy especially with that sauce alrighty thanks for watching